you've seen the new world, but you've not seen the new, new world. The newest world where a new craze has swept the monster hunter nation. Palumu versus Leaf Glob, round one, fight! I see a balloon firing laser. Blue move, turn around, turn around, blue move. Blue move, blue move, bunk the robot. Blue move, please bunk the robot. What do you do? Yes. Preparing yes, Death Star one. level laser yes, beam. Please, in blue move, dodge. Ten, dodge. Nine, dodge. Blue move. Eight, Listen to your chain of damage. Blue move, dodge. Three. Why are you can't skip the count that one, one has gone up. Excuse four, me. Blue move. Three. Please. Two. Blue five. Move. Fire. <laughs> That was unnecessary. Bumpful Wars is a very popular, uh, vicious, gladiatorial sport in you, the future. You can't come back in time with a future robot and then just destroy everyone's natural competitors. It just seems... I brought the game. You didn't know what Bumpful Wars until I did until I introduce you but to it. But you're also cheating. I just got a fluffy balloon, man. You got a laser octopus made out of metal. That's not cheating. It's made, it's made of cans and magnets. Commander, Commander, Command! I don't know why I'm, I'm yelling. Commando. Like I'm, like I'm running over to like tell on you. <laughs> Commander, Commander, Conan's being naughty. I'm not moving. You have to come to me. <laughs> Commander, this table's so wide. I know. It's for all the people I have visit me. It's, it's actually I ordered it three sizes too big. Wait, is that what the huntsman looks like without his armor and clothes on? <laughs> it's so hot today. <laughs> I can imagine who the same person is inside. We have no way of knowing. I'm just gonna leave my suit of armor here when I go on that next ship voyage and no one will know that I'm not here. That's what, clear at the camp? Oh, I murdered that Kula Yaku like nobody's business. Like I stabbed him and 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 I stabbed him. And then he stopped moving. <laughs> I'm gonna order the sixth fleet a bit early, I think. <laughs> you know what, actually, maybe we'll skip over the fifth fleet part of things. This one doesn't seem to be working right. All right. I'm gonna spin that wheel! Which, for those of you without you, context, you which is, which is everyone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna randomly select what, spinning a wheel. what weapon Cotton has to play today. So here's some I, kooky, I, kooky visual representation for the Wheel of Weapon Fate! And you gotta play... Sword and Shield! Oh, that's, that's, that's tough, man. I don't know how I'm gonna manage. Uh, I know! Woo! Alright, what about you? What are you getting? It's spinning! It's oh. spinning! Oh. We're moving! Great sword, great sword, great sword! Oh my god! It's... What are you getting? Great sword! Yes! Oh, I get a great sword episode! I refuse to let it be your main on the first, on, on like, the first- Fuck game. you! Alright! There we go! <laughs> the wheel decides, buddy. The wheel decides. You want to give it at least a moment before your main. The first non-greatsword was insect. -like. I don't care. The wheel decides. I think I think the wheel needs to decide better. Look, all right, we're gonna have a lot of wheels. We're gonna have a lot of chapters. All right, I'm sure I will end up on every weapon eventually. But for now, I don't know. You got greatsword twice in a row. I think you loaded this. I mean, what can I say? It calls to me, and I call to it. What are you calling it? Sexy Baby Delicious. Apparently we need to learn the mechanics of the the, the, the clutch claw in the arena. Sexy Baby Delicious. <laughs> why are you talking to my great son? Why did you say those words in that order? And then why did I repeat them? Look, just follow me in Sexy Baby Delicious and we'll go kill a pookie pookie. What's a pookie pookie? I've never seen this monster. Pookie pookie pookie. Ooh, do me pookie. <laughs> you, just keep, you just keep going, man. I'm glad you're having a good time. I love you pookie. Ooh. I love the way you pook. Don't say that like that. No, you don't. You don't like You're that. You're a duke now, because I got a rhyme. Sorry. Duke, I'm Dookie Dookie, Duke of the Forest. <laughs> duke, you had all of the options in the world. You're duke of Duke of the Toilet. I'm Dookie Dookie, Duke of the Toilet. And that's what you chose. You could have had a kingdom. Uh, like if I if I could if I could choose to become one being, it would be Tom Bombadil. <laughs> you do suit Bombadil. Oh, don't you tongue me. I'm just trying to slap him. Boy's trying to take my first life. <laughs> He's trying to take my personal life. He's trying to take my personal life. He's an identity fraud. Identity he's fraud. He's invading my privacy. He's spending my credit cards. He's looked up my real address and he's planning to share it. How are you enjoying that crazy sword and shield? Oh yeah, it's 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 cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fine weapon. 
not one that I've played world style in a while. It's, it, it, it feels weirdly slower than uh, You're trying to re-roll it to not get me. Like, imagine that on a game show. Like, let's see your prize. Oh, you landed on the tiny percent chance. One million. We're going to re-roll. What? I, I, just, I just think if you if you regularly play that game and there's no prize and you're just doing it for fun and especially for entertainment of others, there's maybe other considerations than, oh, yes, I get to play the thing I like. I think there is nothing greater than being my own stereotype. I don't really know how to combat that. <laughs> hey man, this is one of those cat fo this is where one of those cat photos happens that I had to hunt for 20 hours to work out. <laughs> it is funny, right? Like we have we have created an explanation on how, where, why and when to do every single every <laughs> mechanic, <laughs> location, secret optional guy just everything like there is not a greater yeah. more comprehensive encyclopedia of monster hunter world than the one we have created <laughs> now we're we're experiencing it all again and i've forgotten so I, everything well it's just it's just so weird like going through the ancient forest quote unquote for the first time and knowing every nook and cranny for one reason or another i do like the forest's nooks but i'm not a huge fan of their crannies you're not a cranny man i'm not a cranny man heartbroken I said, Pokey, no. Give him, give him some time. Let him live a bit, you know? Let him enjoy being mounted. I do not require his continued breathing. That's so mean. He's got a rainbow tail, I'll have you know. It's not mean when he doesn't understand that it's being mean. Well, I think that makes us crime. Where are you stabbing him? Because it doesn't seem to be doing much. In his eye. Oh, okay. okay. Like, honestly, the, the, the face mount stats on a smallish creature is really quite brutal. I'm rushing perfectly, man. I'll tell you that much. Oh, cool. Can you can you show me your... Can, you, can, I, can I hear your accent? Da. Wow, you're not kidding. That was perfect. Right? I've been practicing for so long. I'm rushing perfectly, man. Hey, Jackris. How you doing? Good. Oh, he's also been rushing perfectly. Well, where do you think I was learning? Oh, does he do good lessons, old Jaggy boy? Well, I mean, all of them do when you stab them. I'm going to go kill our feathered friend. He's, he's not even asleep yet. You think I care? You think I care? You think I... He's, he's, he's having a meal. I'm going to stab him. You can't just stab him instantly, man. This is... I feel like we're gonna have a great sword every hunt on one of us, and we're just gonna be mounting permanently. Oh, I killed him. Oh, oh, mount dead. Oh, that's fairly, uh, fairly cool new monster. Yeah, I like his Pikachu cheeks. He does have Pikachu cheeks. You think they poison you if you touch them? Uh, I, I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that way I can remember him even though he's dead. You know the, the, the part in the new Pokemon DLC, and for context. Everyone else, if you've not played it, in the new Pokemon DLC, there's a part where it asks you a, a question about a Pikachu as part of a quiz. And the question Careful is Careful about showing it on screen. And the question is where where does a where does a Pikachu keep its electricity? That's like that's like the, the one and Pokemon question that everyone should know. And it's in its cheeks, of course. But someone got yeah. it wrong in a in a in a in a random playthrough. Oh and, no. And one of the comments was like how can you not know that? That is the most basic law fact of all Pokemon. And just it is. like a paragraph, just raging at this person for not getting Pikachu's cheeks first time. <laughs> it's just so Have you good. never read a Pokedex entry? Never watched the television show? Listen to this. Yeah, I hear it. My boy is a dumbass. What ass is he dumbing? The conservatory. He yeah, doesn't the, the like. He doesn't creative. like the room that much for whatever reason. It it right. got it got it got redone recently. Oh, he doesn't like the changes, and he's he's a bit upset with the new decor. Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't just take things out. You can't just do that. So if if you put him in in the room, then he yells. But the thing is, no one put him in the room there. He just came into my office, ran past me, took himself uh -huh. into the conservatory, right. and then got upset and started yelling at the room that he took himself into. Well, he thought it would be the old one. He's mad that the old one isn't there anymore. Yeah, he just he thought he like, wait a minute, I remember. Ah, ah, ah! Like it's this just, just isn't this just ain't it? Just, why is why is why is my cat so dumb? The apple tends to fall very far from the tree if it's not the same species. Like imagine walking into a room you know you hate and then being in this room. No. Me every time I go to the bathroom. It's a whale. Of despair. They are whales. The whale of despair is not a creature you want to meet on a stormy night to punish shit. I'm pretty sure that's just like the subtitle of a monster hunter creature. But it is. Like Emperor of Flame, Whale of Despair. <laughs> so it's Sidious's cousin that they don't like to acknowledge or talk about. Yeah, he's from despair. Yeah, it's the whale of despair. He's, he, he brings the mood down. 
I'm going to go on to the best kind of quest. Oh, I bet you it's like um, there's like a cart and we're like pushing it through the desert. The best kind, you know what the best kind of quest is? It's a follow quest. I love follow quests, especially if it's tiny people. My variants. Oh, sorry. I had a, had, a, had, a, had, a, had a moment there. Just whoo. Old self came back. <laughs> so why why aren't why aren't we in the back of the wagon? Yeah, we could just let the handler push, and we could just sit. Well, we're not pushing. Well, we're defending. You know, we're defending this precious. Are we, what what are we defending it from right now? It's kind of mean, actually. That this requires three tiny wyvarians to push and this cart handler. through a desert, while we, the hunter with unnatural strength, are just like, mm -hmm. good job, guys, keep it up. Just keep on pushing. Well, I'm watching. I'm keeping an eye out. Don't you worry. If I had to guess, based on the absolute minimal amount of metal, that thing probably weighs about as much as your greatsword. Oh, obviously. The hunter can't go near a cart voluntarily. Yeah, it's scary. It is scary. It's like the one weakness, you know? Why are you a gas it's mask scholar? Like, it's not cool. Like, they're all just having a nice conversation, and this guy's over here like, I think he's just overly cautious because he doesn't he doesn't know what the what the what the air quality is gonna be like. <gasps> he's probably like an opera singer and he has to protect Yay! his throat. Oh I got a fish. And That's a not how you, Yeah, there of we course go. you got a fucking fish. You were just <laughs> He's throwing a net in a river. I was after the joy perch, not the fish. The fish was an extra bundle. Oh, we're around, we're around the bird. The bird position. The bird. The bird up zone. The beautiful, gorgeous singing bird. I think it's here and right. Oh, God. It's, why? I shouldn't know this. Yes, you should. I know more about Monster Hunter World than I, than I do my degree. I've got torch torch pods. I'm going to try and light the... Cart on fire? I, I get you. I get you. Yeah, I wanted to. See how they push then. Why are you just abandoning the cart? This is your goal. Because they, I could have found an incredibly rare endemic life, which is, as we all know... They could be dead right now. You wouldn't even know. I don't want to even care. I've long since evolved past apathy. I'm an apathist. Empathy, even. I've evolved into apathy. Sorry, I get my apathies confused. Oh, they were waiting for you. I'm a strict apathy. You mean pacifist? No, I just don't. I don't have any feelings for anyone. I love the idea that you were, we're using our slinger to create a distraction noise. That never comes up because they always instantly aggro you unless you're in Gilly Mantle. That's a really good point. Like, why is it like teaching us a mechanic that doesn't exist? No! <laughs> oh, you, you, you tried to fight the rat at the end of the baby armor. I wanted to do a wall bang and I just kept hitting myself. <laughs> no, researchers! Yeah, they're fucked now. Just the utter destruction, just torn apart, set on fire. Like, I'm so sorry, guys! Just very, very, very quickly waddling the wagon away as fast as they can. Like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I love that I literally died and they're like, whew, that was close, but so, you know, all's well then. So Enter the triangle of safety. I love that they, they essentially complete this without you needing to do anything, be that. You don't even really need to defend them from the Rathian. Uh -huh. I mean, you literally, you did literally die. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just, it's just quite relaxing. It's quite nice, yeah. You just need to meet them at certain points so they don't get, you know, a little bit worried. <laughs> it's so funny that we're just <laughs> blind to their struggles. He appears to be dripping bits. Not good old drip bits. I love them going out with their grabby hands like that. You're gonna burn yourself. Ah, they've got, they've got hardened calluses. They don't feel no pain on their mitts. Ooh, bear off time. I love that he then says for the second time, Jumpin' Jaggies! It's a barrel! It's the monster that's in front of him. It's like his zoinks. Jumpin' Jaggies, that's the monster. Protect the cart! The empty cart! Oh, I've got it. Fire a, a rotten tomato at his eye. <laughs> like, oh, really, dude? Really? Imagine if you could, like, accurately fire Slinger Ammo to that degree where you get a knockdown if you hit them in the eye. God, we're so cool. Oh, the steam engine. He's a great little boy. He is. He's he's just a puppy dog in dinosaur form. God, I just tried to power sheep. So he's more he's more like a, a a nice friendly pig in a trough rolling around in the mud. God, that was alarming. Yeah, you shouldn't power sheath when you don't have a sheath. Like I really really love Sunbreak Greatsword, but I do hope Wilds is much closer to World and Icebond Greatsword. I definitely think it will be for most weapons. I like it being all about the uh, the true charge. Deploy skills. Yeah. I've captured a cactuar. Also, did you just tell yourself to deploy skills? Uh, deploy stealth, I think. Engage my own skills. Power is activated. I've cleaved some mud. Well, I'm here. It's like a mile away from the only camp that we have. It's literally the opposite side of the map, but I've, I've made yeah, it. Yeah, we should. We should. You're also on the far side of the zone. We should add to our camps while we can. That's a good idea. Because if we don't do it now, we'll never be allowed to. We'll never be here again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get the camp. Slope, 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 slope. I think it's up here on the right for a little hole in the wall. I believe so. You know, you know what they should have done? 
not obviously change World of Icebot in any way for this Return to World event, except uh-huh. very specifically update the game to have a Wedge Beetle on this tree. That would be and incredible. Just don't and just don't tell anyone. This is the only change. Just almost almost six years after release, just one the tiniest patch. Change <laughs> Wedge Beetle on this tree, and so all the hunters rejoice. If I was a camp, I think I'd quite like to be around here. Maybe, maybe down here? Yeah, there's one in there. Ooh, maybe, maybe here. Oh, you do? You think we could build a camp here? I don't think we could build a camp here. Quite. Hey, man, are you also thinking of building a camp? Oh, I think it'd be a good idea long term. Oh, look, this little, this little cheeky caves. Oh, no, it's not blocked off. It's, was there that's, a little that's, cave? That's right? a bush. Yeah. No, that's there is, bush. there is. There is a little cave behind it. That's a bush. There's a little cave. I swear there was a little... I've, I've never, I've never been in that. There's one ten feet forwards this way. There was way. a crawly out bit. Right? There was a... There's one right... There's one, like, right here. Where, 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 where... Yeah, there? Is it? Is that that one? There's a way to crawl out into this zone. Yeah, it's not the bush. Oh, we already have this camp. Wait, really? Yeah, I just walked down here and there's just a handler. Just a handler? Yeah. Why do we already have this camp? Does it just give it to us? Did I not even know? If I mean, if I knew that we got this, then I definitely would have done it. But, like... That's so interesting. That doesn't really add up, does it? No, the math... The math is causing me problems. So hey, deep sea fish have a swim bladder. They can inflate, deflate it to regulate pressure and buoyancy to help them swim. Yeah, it's how they go up and down. And sometimes if they get too close to the surface or something goes wrong, it, the pressure difference can cause it to expand and they can't de-expand it. So they essentially get stranded at the surface of the water, like forcibly floated, like you'd attach the flotation device yeah. to them. And they just have to kind of thrash around until they, till they, yeah. till they starve or dehydrate to death. But a fisherman can can help with this situation by killing them so they don't suffer. Yeah. Jesus Christ! No, bloody hell! No, no. no it's not something as barbaric as killing them. Blood! My God! What do you man. mean? Why are you saying barbaric? You, you never heard of an animal dying? You fish murder. I'm a fish murder. You sidle on over to them, boatly, swimmily, however you. However yeah, you, you wanna... have to do it like slowly and stylishly. You can't. You can't. Yes, do it exactly. You have to. You have to do it suavely. And then what you do is you get a big old knife. Right, knife. And you. You stab the stab fish it. in the swim bladder. Yeah, so you kill it. No, no, you don't. You don't kill it. You stab it, which relieves the pressure. Psh, and then yeah, it goes, and then it and can't then it, use the swim bladder anymore, so it sinks and just dies where you can't see it, so you feel better. It heals the wound and then goes back to normal. Oh, no, you said a big knife. Like a big knife is a problem for a fish. Not like I'm gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die. We're all good. Oh, okay, that's good. So there you go. I just thought you were the type of person that would find it interesting, knowing how you rescue a stranded, deep-sea, overinflated swim bladder fish. Well, it's exactly the same way as you help someone who's choking because their throat is completely lodged up. You just stab a pen in their in their vocal cords. Yeah, yeah easy, easy stuff. Just stab a pen through someone's vocal cords. And that way they can talk to you and tell you what they choked on. <laughs> For example, hot dog, just, like, crush their throat because the hot dog will break. Or ice, just... Just be patient. I mean, maybe not patient, but apply heat to throat. <laughs> Please don't apply heat to there throat. There is sort of a time limit. I mean, I mean, ideally, not not excessive heat, but like some heat's fine. Like if you take a hot pack and put it on your throat, that's so What fine. happens if you put a hot pack on an ice you pack? You get two mid-packs. <laughs> I love two mid-packs. That Actually, sounds think, like I a think... really lame way to describe that you've been working out for a little bit. Yeah, I don't have a six-pack or anything, but I, you know. I've got I, two I, mid-packs. i got like a mid-pack, I'd say. Like i got at least a mid-pack. No, it's a two mid-pack. Or it's like. Yeah, I know you're injured. Best I can do is a mid-pack. Just a, just a little one. It'll heal you a little bit. Not a full med, but, you know, mid-pack. It's not a full medicine. It's just a it's just a little bit. Mounting is cool. We do like a lot of mounting. We do. I, th- I think they just maybe rebalance the aerial numbers with Iceboard. Damn aerial numbers. The aerial numbers. You know, the ones that can bring a fish out of the ocean and turn it into a human. What do they mean? They mean, ooh, I'm a mermaid and I'm small. Do you remember that hit song from The Little Mermaid? Yeah, yeah, ooh, I'm a mermaid and I'm small. Ooh, I'm a mermaid that is tiny. I don't know why part of the main thing people talk about is my size. It would be weird finding a mermaid to only discover that, yes, they exist, but they're actually, like tiny as a as a race like a hot dog no like a like like three like a foot long hot dog <laughs> like a foot long hot dog yes three four regular hot dogs back to back i feel like it's more like two like a hot dog isn't that small depends what kind of hot dogs you're hot dogging what are you what are you going like mini dogs <laughs> cocktail weenies perhaps mid mid dog pretty sure mid dog is a popular streamer pretty sure mid dog is a popular streamer he's making a lot of or one of the asgardian realms <laughs> just after midgard who may take the bifrost to Mid-Dog, where all the coolest people are. That's where Snoop resides. (laughs) 
It's like it's like every mount attack is just a guaranteed mount, is what it feels like. I'm not even using the great sword. I want to get his tail before he dies. Oh, he got up and dodged. Get it, son. I'm trying, father. I love that the music just gets progressively like quieter, but it's not like quieter like they're just turning the volume down. The expressiveness of the the instruments goes down. Oh, let's use advanced interactions and clean his mud with puddle pods. I fell into his. I fell into his mud. I, like I literally, I oh. face planted into the mud, and then it cut to the bear off saying, "Main quest completed." It was just a really well typed cut. It was like a perfectly cut screen. <laughs> Success! Put Cutten in mud. Josh is a cactuar standing right in front of me. I don't want to move. That's that's not a. That's, is that, that? It's not a capturable one, right? It's that is little... a. I, I don't want to move. Oh. Yeah, but the, yeah, you can't. You can catch them. They're all the same. So yeah, does that mean that I just killed him with a puddle pot? I think so. Yes, I think that's precisely what that means. Wow, I was trying to, I was trying to wash his mud, not wash his life. I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. <laughs> that sounds so My sinister. Face is so, Why does so that beautiful? sound sinister? Don't worry, I found a place to put the little scholars. Six feet under. And I am the seeker who did not, who did not want to appear until everyone but you was gone. I'm actually a big fan. No, seriously, I get part of the fleet. I can't see a goddamn thing right now. I've spent sixty thousand dollars on your OnlyFans account. <laughs> Only hunts. Please take a picture with me. Yeah, he really does imply that he got with the first fleet. It was like, all right, I'm gonna head out and didn't head back for forty years. Maybe that's his job. Maybe he's just a lone hunter. Maybe that's what Wild did. They called me the Seeker, but they never told me what I was seeking. It's been so hard. They just told me to go and seek, and no, I've I've not found anyone hiding. <laughs> This game's lasting so long. <laughs> it's actually his kinsect who's hiding. <laughs> like, how do you how do you deal with that? When I got here, I started playing a game of hide and seek with my kinsect. He's he's really good. The bag just vibrates. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Poor freezer. How dude. did you do that? They also, I love that the handler like brought the little shavings in the cup, and they brought the whole rocket. She wasn't. Yeah, even they She's like, I'll just take these. And, okay, you guys, and get like, the rock on the cart. Like, I get the idea of us not helping them, because maybe we were doing other things at the time, but at the end there, the handler walks up just sort of, like, not holding anything while they're, like, dying. Oh, my God, look at that. That's, that's a good little end view. If not for my cat. <laughs> look, oh, they're really true to life, you know? If there's one thing cats like doing is a, a, a highly inappropriate, unasked for times <laughs> presenting you their ass. Just sharing their whole hole. Hey, Commander, looking good. Thanks, I always look good. That's one of the reasons I'm the Commander. The main reason. <laughs> yes, Hunter Commander, it was chosen. All right, out of all the First Fleet, who's hottest? The Admiral's just like, I, I, I refuse. I can't take this. I just, I'm, I'm never here. Let's go, let's go. There's it. also an attendance requirement that I do not pass. <laughs> I hate having to actually show up. To work. That's why my grandson's gonna take over in uh, Celiana. It's not a nepotism thing. I swear it's not a nepotism thing. Oh, Sinister Shadow in the Swamp. This was where you first joined me. This was a beta thing. We didn't do, we didn't do this together in the main yeah, one, Yeah, yeah, no, we? we did. We did. Sinister Shadow in the Swamp is, is the first quest that we did together. Oh. Yeah. Well then, Marge. I'm really happy that you've gotten a husband. <laughs> I was like, why is Madge talking to our sisters? There you go, it's your new sword. It looks just like the old one, but trust me, it's better. I, sh I sharpened it better than you do. Yeah, if there's one thing I hope that Wilds does is go back to the era of all the weapons look like unique weapons and funky monster hunter designs. Like, if you can't show me a new head on a stick every time we start Wilds, I'm going to be very upset. Well, I mean, probably not every time, but eventually, hopefully, there will be enough to, to have some. I mean, if every hammer is a head on a stick, then we'll be fine. He must have left some kind of trail as he was dragged off to his death. Yeah, Wyverian footprints. You know, I'm just not gonna... I'm just not gonna get the trail handler and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go get him. Totally unreasonable. You don't know where he is. There's no way. I have a feeling. I'm, I've got I've got good hunches about these things. I just know. I just kind of know. Hunt, hunches? Yes. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you say, man. They've gone blue, Handler, because it's an Elder Dragon. This is No Gigante Spikes. He's the flagship of this game. He's gonna drop down when we fight Zora, and then eventually we will kill him. You don't know that yet. That might not be true. <laughs> Handler's just staring at you, Slackjot. <laughs> Sorry, I I know things in this in this loop, in this timeline. By the way, your grandpa carried a Velcana scale. We're gonna find that too at one point. It'll take a few months. 
Oh, I'm really excited to do OG Nergi at, at appropriate times. Yeah, it'll be fun. Like, this implies a level of brutality that we don't see Nergi do to literally anything else ever. I think it was just one spray of spikes. It's just he's weak. <laughs> that barrel's some weak, man. Armor plating not thick enough. It's okay, man. Calm down. What Jirotodas? No, you know, it's not the Jirotodas. The Jirotodas. How did you know that was about to happen, Scholar? Oh, I see the future. <laughs> Hey, me too. Just dragging him through mortar. It sounds like you're telling me you joined the quest while in an incredibly large cave. I joined the quest. Get on, get on. Jurotot is the kind of guy to, like, go to the bathroom and not watch his hands. <laughs> Have you noticed throughout your life that the names of the like, hand air dryers in bathrooms have gotten progressively cooler. Oh, have they? Yeah. I don't really read the names. Yeah, well, the most recent one I used was called a, an air blade, and it's like... Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, that's... Yeah, classic. it's like, bloody hell. Like, this used to be... Like, it used to be... You might have never used one, but there used to be just a big bulky thing with a big silver button that you pressed it, and then for, like, ten seconds yeah. it would blast out... Air. Just air, yeah. And now we're up those, to like those are nice. air blades. It's like I just I'm just drying my hands. Insert your hands into the carefully relayed slits and then witness to the blade of air. It's like motherfuckers, this bathroom equipment calling out its attacks. What do you want from me? And then you've got like sinks that are like on a timer. <laughs> When it's set so that you press the like the time tap, but it, you only get like half a second, so you just oh, you can't, even, you can't so even get to the like. Oh, God damn it! Oh, fine, you gotta keep pressing it. Fucking time. <laughs> one finger at once. I don't care. But uh, you know what? The thing that I hate the most about those is you know for a fact that it means that the the tap itself is like not clean at all because people have to touch the tap before they clean their hands. <laughs> he's the kind of guy to order, go to a fancy restaurant and uh, just order chicken nuggets. No, he's the kind of guy that would go to an upmarket fancy steakhouse and ask for a well And then done. when they say, we don't do that here, sir, he'd say, yes, you do. <laughs> and then start breathing fire, and that's when it turns out it's run by the mafia, and he's a, he's a super fireman crime fighter. Whoa! Tim, super fireman crime fighter man. Why is he called Tim? He's, he's not. I thought you said Tim, super fire no, it's, crime it's, crime. I said it, it, it's him, and then I... Oh, not Tim. Tim would be a good name, though. It could be Tim. It's not too threatening, approachable. You know, you could you could rely on a Tim. Maybe a bit less than a John, you know? We're like, save me, Charlie. That's just not going to happen, right? You know, he's, he's, he's too busy having fun over there. Like, Charlie's too busy with his and factory. And then he enslaved an entire, like, species to work for him. The original Roald Dahl writing of the Oompa Loompas does not really, um... Not really work too well in, in 2023. You could argue it probably shouldn't have worked well when it was originally written. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. Ah! Oh! And that's how you get a hybrid Geratodotus Barris. Beautiful. Nature. A, a Baratodus. A Baratodus. A, a two-legged mudfish. Well, I just described Geratodus again. <laughs> it didn't really get a lot. We didn't get a lot from the barrel side of things. See, this is how I want them to bring back, like, Leviathans if they have to. Just let them be half in, half out water while we're technically yeah, on Yeah, yeah, just, just do what they do, yeah. You know, like, even just this, running around, like, up to our waist, you know, we can still be in it's the fun. water with them. Which was, technically, I guess, going to be the plan with, with Legia, Chris. They just, they just did, they just didn't, Like, yeah. let him do watery stuff around you while you're just waist high in, in water. But it never panned Yeah, out. I'm like, I don't care if it, like, it clips awkwardly occasionally. I'd rather have them in the game. Oh. He's down. He's, yeah, he is. You're right. Oh, he's down. I think my favorite part about Geratidus is he actually looks like so much better if you don't see him covered in mud. But you just, yeah, he really just always is covered in mud. They really should have gone for one of the original design angles where he's super radiant, like rainbow colored, iridescent, shiny scales underneath. Well, he and does as you like, slowly, look really nice underneath. So. And as you cleave away, he just gets really bright. Watch that dirty boy. Where am I? I don't know. Are you playing first person? Where are you? Uh, inside of him. It's just a picture of a dead Geratidus. Uh, we found, we found this dead Geratidus. We're claiming it for the quest. <laughs> I'm sure nothing wrong will happen to me if I walk into the middle of this clearing. God, I hope not. I love that the blacksmith goes out of his way to include a little red tie as part of the pookie arm. It's actually part of the pookie itself. It's the tongue. <laughs> Talk about being tongue-tied. And also dead so that your entire skin is turned into an armor. Sad. Look, okay, you don't have to make it. You don't have to make it sad. It's already sad. I'm sad. Oh, I got rid of your miner. That's so sad. Well, I'm the one who mines here. I'll get in a second bonus palico like that. It used to be core of the Pokemon palico strength. Oh, of course. It changes the meta. 
<laughs> changes the meta. Well, introducing duo duo builds is, is is just so much more uh, so much more you can work with than a solo pelican. Oh, the fact that in the old gens you used to have monsters where it genuinely it, it just didn't seem possible that there was viable openings to attack it without being hit, and that's just kind of not a thing anymore. I prefer having at least some notable openings. To, to be fair, you're saying that from a great sword's perspective, so th there's already very little opening. Hey, man. Sorry, I came from further in the future. It took me longer. Ah! Careful, he's got an electric tail. I don't know if you know that in the past. If I had not upgraded my Pookie to armor to Pookie, Pookie armor, that would have killed me in one in one go. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to need to do some upgrading. Ow! God damn! Yeah, that seems like it hurt you a lot. Oh, no! No! I was stunned. All right, pause and talk to the screen and post. I'm letting you down, guys. I know you expected more. It should have been cotton. My blood sugar was running a bit high this day. <laughs> I had just had three juice boxes in a row and I was feeling a little bit like I needed to I be. do love that the handle is the middle of like, getting stunned is bad because you might get hit. Oh. God, did you could die. And he wasn't limping. Well, he's got a skull. <laughs> I think he might have been limping. There's a chance. It's, it's possible. <laughs> Does he have like four rows of teeth? That's so funny! <laughs> I don't think he's very close to death yet. I didn't see him limp. He had no skull for me. He says, I'll just go through the mat. Leapt off. Killed him. Yeah, he's got like four rows of teeth. Look at the top of his jaw. Oh, yeah. That's a bit gnarly. And they go straight down his mouth instead of round. That's, that's weird. He's like a, he's like a Venus, Venus flytrap. Oh, Commander, proposition me. I love this. Have you gone med? But sir, sorry, Magnaros is an elder dragon. Imagine having the balls to talk to the commander like that with a French accent. Have you gone med? That was the worst French accent I think I've ever heard in my life. Well, I was I was representing the way that she sounded, so that wasn't my French accent. What a thing! Like, if we don't, it could be at least ten years before we find this mountain-sized monster again. Uh, yeah, and it could like have a whole map on its back. I might. Have a great idea. Brace yourself for this. <laughs> I have a great idea. I'm gonna get the hunter to solve my problems. <laughs> I could just move on. Like, what, what was that whole into? Another thing. Uh, there was a report. Do you think you could? Yes. We have an elder dragon to capture. You can't say that sentence. I think he, he definitely believes he can, and that's what that's what matters. <laughs> Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit more of our return to world journey journeyed. And such and so I'm forth. returning to the new world as an old man. Yes, yes, old man. Okay, calm down. I where's why? Who am you? Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. 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 Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye